You know, when, when I first came to join the mission back in 2017, you quickly start to pick up on names that you hear uh, of previous superintendents and people that were well known amongst the mission. And some of them are like the legendary figures because they, did, they accomplished so much amongst the mission and especially amongst the fishermen. And if you want to know about uh, mission men and what they're like, you speak to the fishermen and they'll always uh, tell you that. And it's not long before you start to travel the northeast of Scotland and you begin to hear the name of the gentleman that's going to come up and speak to you in just a moment. And it's been my great pleasure, I've only known him for a short while, but I found him to be a great a guy, and a, a great person to look to for a guidance and advice. And he's got a lot of good stuff to, to tell a young whippersnapper like myself who's just started and is just learning the ropes. I'm, I've still got a long way to go, and I'm st still learning as I go. But I've got a great respect for our next uh, speaker. And he's going to come up and tell us a little bit about the history of Aber the Aberdeen Mission. In fact, I don't know what he's going to say. I've told him he can just say what he likes, so it's totally up to him. But I want you to just welcome Murray Campbell as he comes. <laughs> Retired Senior Superintendent. God bless you, Murray. Kenny, you're not supposed to tell lies. <laughs> Lord and Lady Provost, previous Provosts, what a privilege it is to stand here tonight and see so many well kent faces. But how on earth, Kenny, can I follow these singers? <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I, I love to sing, not because I'm a singer, it's because I'm loud. And, and uh, really, uh, I do enjoy the songs of praise because it gives you a good, a good feeling. 20 years ago, where on earth have they gone? In this evolving mission and ministry, so much has been done and there's still so much to do. When I came to Aberdeen in November 1997, that's last century, I came as the new mission man. It was a very different scenario that we see today. I followed the late Jim Roth into Aberdeen. He was well loved, well respected, and he'd served 10 years here in this place. Well, I started in November, and now I've got to tell you, I've he, he says, speak for as long as you like. That's not what he told me. He says, you've got eight minutes. <laughs> I was preaching, and uh, see, I'm off a script already. I was, I was preaching in, in Peterhead, and now my granny, my granny came to Peterhead, and obviously there were a lot of my folk in the congregation. And I, before the service, I said, no, have I gone too long? Just cough. And they did. <laughs> in November, in the mission, we have what you call shipwreck mariners, and we, we pay out money. Now, I had just arrived the first week in November, and that's when you have the payouts. Well, I, I had the police sent to me my first week here in Aberdeen, and they said, what on earth are you doing? And I says, excuse me? He says, do you realize you're blocking the whole of Market Street? There's 300 folk out there. I said, well, I'm new. I don't care anybody and they have no identification. I cannot give them money if they have no identification. I said, well, I have to speed this up some Anyway, the next payout was me, and every one of them had identification, and I had a team of people uh, looking after the, the, the folk, and we, we, we got on. My second month here, wait here, listen now, my second month here, I was told, this would be December, that the mission was to host a three-course meal for uh, the seafarers and for the, the, the volunteers. I said, for how many folk? About 100. I said, who cooks this? You do. <laughs> You've never had it so good, Kenny. <laughs> so Maureen and I and a few others set to, and we served a three-course meal. But before that, I was told, now, that Lord Provost will be in attendance. I said, what? I've never met, I've never met a Lord Provost. I'm a Los Elun. I've never met a, lo a Lord Provost before. For goodness sake. Anyway, I was told I had to stand at the door and meet the Lord Provost. And the Lord Provost car arrived, this great muckle thing arrived outside the door. A man in a red jacket walked out and he opened the door for the Lord Provost and Ucha came. How you doing, Maloon? 
I say, I'm okay now. I'm okay. I'm fine now. That was uh, the Lord Provost, Margaret Farker. And of course, uh, we had a wonderful night. And I even, I even, even enjoyed myself. I heard myself singing the Northern Lights of Old Aberdeen. I said, Murray, calm down. And of course, of course, at the end of that evening, end of that evening, Margaret, you presented me with cufflinks. I'm waiting in the night for you. And of course, it was so wonderful to see Margaret and Margaret Smith, who followed Margaret in. And it was 20 years ago at Margaret Smith that we and our committee set up the Songs of Praise that went on year on year. And what a marvelous job we're doing. What a marvelous jo job is happening here. Well, we had a huge mission building that was requiring a lot of TLC. Maureen and I lived in four houses. Now, listen to this. Four houses, and I had four offices in one calendar year. You have never had it so good, Kenny. Four houses and four offices in one calendar year. It wasn't a fair, but that's how it was. It was indeed a new way of life. But the work went on with a fantastic LAC in those days, a local advisory committee, and a lady support group, and many, many volunteers. It's called teamwork. The office in Market Street was to become so busy that I had to take in extra volunteers to help me. We computerized everything that was in the office, all the various documents from the various agencies. We had 300 shipment mariners, we had penny a day. Remember penny a day? I was nearly greeting. We had the Cod War. Remember the Cod War? Everybody in Aberdeen claimed for the Cod War. This chap came into the office. He was younger than I was. And I said, were you in Iceland? He said, no, but everybody else is claiming, and so am I. <laughs> Hospital visitation was much to the fore, and we had to get help from our lady support group to train as hospital visitors. So it was eight ladies from the lady support group, and Maureen, who was the spare wheel. Because there always somebody, see, there were some grannies among them, and grannies had to do school runs or pick up the bairns or do something. Or, and they wanted holidays. Holidays, can you believe it? <laughs> holidays. In my first year, with the four houses, the four offices, I had 55 funerals. And I, I says, I'm not going to manage this. I really am not going to manage this. It never got easier. We had a vigorous guild which gave much help, and of course, we held our party nights at the Ash Vale, and still my favorite place. And if you've ever spoken to Stuart Devine, who's in the second row there, he's a wonderful story to tell you about the mission, about how he wore his kilt to go and get his award from the House of Commons, and then he had to go to Downing Street and to get his photograph taken, and he was shown all through Downing Street, and all because he wore his kilt. Now, he's like a bairn. He didn't want to wear his kilt, but he was told, wear your kilt. <laughs> a great story, Stuart. A great Stuart, and still my favorite place. Every time I went down there, I said, hello, Captain. I said, I'm only a superintendent. <laughs> I said, you're Captain. It was a wonderful, a wonderful place, and Stuart did a lot for us because we didn't have a center anymore. The annual fashion show at the New Markcliffe was a wonderful highlight fundraiser, ramming or cramming, I should say, 500 folk into the, the, the hall. And of course, I always, and every time, can you believe it? Every time we had a fashion show, Man United was playing. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And I got the, the waiter to stand at the back and he would hold it one, nil, <laughs> two, one. And of course, they, they, the, the, the punters, didn't know what was happening. But uh, every, every fashion show seemed to be, uh, am I doing all right for time? Okay. And of course, the songs of praise in June was always packed. Now, I'm speaking about the old, the old scenario here of the, this is the upstairs. Remember the upstairs? was the balcony went all the way around and it was down the stairs and we used to cram 600 folk, 600 folk in here and Les used to sit there 
Les was a bandmaster, and he used to look at me. Now, Les was a prison governor, and he used to, he, he used to look at me as though I was a prisoner. Uh, and I would, I would stand here, I would stand here, and he would, go, he would give you that, one of the, uh, his, his looks. Well, we had uh, the male voice choirs, we had guest singers, not so good as you, Fiona, <laughs> or you, Thea, not so good as you. But uh, they, were, they were good, they were good. And of course, uh, uh, we enjoyed our songs of praise. I can only give you a taste of some of the events that happened because time is short. But my personal highlight was always visiting and the pastoral side in the mission. That role was the, my favorite part of the work of the mission. Kenny uh, latched on to our favorite saying, Christianity with its sleeves rolled up. And you had to roll up your sleeves, and you still have to roll up your sleeves to get out there and amongst the, the folk and visit. Because in my day, there were eight hospitals. <laughs> eight hospitals. And they're now, now mostly all under one umbrella at, at the ARI. But of course, it took me longer to go from here to uh, Tornady. It, it, was, it was easier to go to Lossi. I enjoyed, I enjoyed that part of the work. And of course, your mission tonight is led by Kenny. I'm not too sure about the name uh, of, of Ebenezer Mayer. If Ebenezer Mather was alive today, he was in Brandy and in mission. I don't know about that. Don't know, I'm not too sure about that. But Kenny, you are, I've known you for a short time, as you've said, and you're doing a marvelous work and we all, we all see what you're doing, and you spoke so well at the start, and really, um, we're, we're all with you. We're all with you, and we just ask God's uh, blessing on you uh, in the days, months, and years to come. Can I just finish? The Lord Provost Margaret Farker said to me at my farewell here in the Citadel, happy to meet Sora Pert happy to meet again and I am so happy to meet you lot again and, and to see your smiling faces and I just hope you'll support this man as much as you can in the days to come because you've got a good lad here. Thank you very much.